Hello, this is Cast Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time we invaded the Imperial Magitech Research Facility. Well, it snuck in more like, and we saw Kafka being Kafka, and as well as some espers. So we're gonna, you know, follow up, follow up on that. Uh, before we do this, though, there's two quick things. First of all. First of all, I do not want this equipped on her. Um, second of all, I kind of wish I bought the Poison Fist for this guy. Well, actually, you know what, second thought, that one probably isn't necessary. Um, you know what, Ken? Put a flame tongue on you. Well, I shouldn't actually. Okay, let's let's get moving. Okay, now before you talk to either of them. Oh right, there's monsters down here, like Flan. Oh Flan. I think you're weak against fire? Maybe lightning. It's one of the two. I guess we'll find out. Hopefully it's fire, because that means I can just do this. Well, fire seemed fairly effective. If not exceptionally so. Uh, I can probably just kill them with a fire spin from <laughs> Sabin. But anyway, there is a save point in here, so let's use it. Um, I think you can guess what's coming up. Like, if you can't, then you have, really haven't been paying attention. Quite frankly. <laughs> so, let's just save, then head back out. And Ifrit attacks us. Now, needless to say, Ifrit absorbs fire and is weak against ice. However, there's a bit of a catch to that, and it is this: um, if we use ice magic on him, he will counterattack with even stronger magic. Uh, that didn't do anything. Uh, I don't remember what maskers do. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, so that, apparently that was a problem. Now, fortunately, we have Runic. So, worst case scenario, we can just hit him with... Wait, what? Oh, I guess Runic hadn't went off yet. Uh. So as I was saying, worst case scenario, we can just hit him with Edgar and... L what the hell was... Oh, that was a desperation attack! I totally forgot that was a thing. I get them so seldomly. Wait, actually... Um, Edgar. Cure everyone! And then it's Les, use Runic! And I'm sort of ignoring what they're saying, but... Spoiler alert. Oh wait, no. I killed him because I got the, <laughs> the desperation attack off early. Wow. That was actually really lu good luck. Normally, they alternate, which isn't even bad for me because I can actually hurt Shiva a lot more easily. But... That didn't happen this time because Locke's desperation attack, which is basically a limit break, um, <laughs> just sort of killed him. I was not expecting that at all. Like, I usually basically never get desperation attacks ever. So, you know, it was nice to see one. Cause, l let me tell you, you probably won't see one again anytime soon. Cause the catch of them is that it is in order to activate, you need to be in critical hit po or life and using the attack command and then you only have like a 1 in 8 chance, I think. 
maybe one in four. Anyway, dialogue! I can see why Rama entrusted you with his power. I wonder if something would happen if I summoned Rum in that battle, actually. Hmm. Well, anyway. Let's, uh... Let's do that. When they finished draining us of our powers, they dump us down here to die. We haven't much time left. Gestahl has captured many more of us. They're all here, being drained of their power. I too suffered my turn in one of the capsules. We and Rama are siblings, each of us born with a different elemental power. Okay, so that actually makes a certain amount of sense. I mean, they look nothing alike each other, but they're espers, so you know, go figure. If Rama was willing to give you his strength, then we shall do the same. Ah. Our friends are also running out of time. I'm sure they'll lend you their strength as well. Be got Ifrit! And Shiva! Wait, Shiva? No, yeah, no, that's right. Okay, well, let's take a look, see. Fire, Fire, Drain, and Strength Boost. Blizzard, Blizzard, Rasp, Osmos, Cure, but no... Hmm. Osmos is a really good spell, but Shiva does not have a level up boost, and therefore is not going on anyone. However... However, Ifrit does have a level up boost. Uh, that seems like almost a shame, so close to getting Kira. But I'm standing by what I said about prioritizing level up boosts outside of the Velt. I meant it, damn it. Therefore, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What is your. Yeah, yeah. Therefore, let's throw- you know, I say that. Do I actually care about strength on you? I guess a little bit. Yeah, okay. I'll give you the- I'll give you Ifrit. Ifrit- I can think of worse people to give Ifrit than Edgar. Um, for example, Celez and Sabin. Uh, actually, well, yeah. No, I'd say Celez is about even. Sabin is definitely a worse choice. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Oh, wait, that, I almost forgot. Uh, right. So for this coming up battle, the same thing as before applies with the next coming up battle. What am I even saying? Yeah, this battle right here. No, never mind. I'm talking bullshit. Because I'm... You do want to leave off the elemental stuff if you, where possible, as there is there are more enemies coming up that are resistant to elements, not fire. Fortunately, the guards aren't resistant to fire, but you know. Anyway, Okay, 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 okay. And for the record, I mean more than just fire and ice for that weakness thing. Or wait, strength thing? Resistant? I mean, anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. Just, as I said, watch out for elemental resistances. Although not against generals. Clearly. Magitech Research Facility, with a big capsule this time round. One, two, three, four, 
five. Hmm. Oh, hey, these things are new. I... Hmm. One of these might actually be resistant to fire. I don't recall specifically. <laughs> Nope. Okay, well that's good. And they're dead! Did Edgar level up? Uh, no, clearly not. Who the hell are you? A boss battle. Okay, two things about this guy. First of all, I he has something that I very much want to steal, but I may not get it. I did not get it. Um, I don't know if I'll have a chance. I don't know, I guess we'll find out. Mm. Damn it. Okay, well... If I was playing on my own, I would reset here. Because this guy has... A, you can steal a blood sword from him, potentially. Which, needless to say, is really good. Otherwise, though, he's a bit... He's sort of a pushover. As long as you don't use magic against him. Or any elements, actually. Because he does... He has the ability to ch cycle elemental weaknesses. Or, no, let me rephrase that. Cycle Elemental Resistances. Maybe even Absorbing. I'm not sure. So, if you use the wrong magic against him, or again, any element, really, it can hurt a lot. Because he does that. However, having said that, he only has a little under five... What just happened? Anyway, having said that, he only has a little under 5,000 HP, so hitting him like- oh. Well, that didn't do anything. Ha Did I speak too soon? I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I killed him. Okay, yeah. Apparently, Barrier Change makes him immune to Aura Sphere. Go figure. Well... Or it still deals, like, massive damage, so... Just hopefully he uses it late. I suppose. Hopefully you can steal the blood sword from him, is what should really be said. Because that thing is... I don't think it's even that strong, actually. But it's a blood sword. Come on. You, w you need the damn blood sword. And he drops either a flame tongue or an ice brand. Which... The Ice Brand is probably a little bit better just because I already had a Flame Tongue, but they're all the same. Uh, on that note, though, let me see. Uh, that's iffy. Right, actually, I'm not going to put that back on her. In fact, here's the thing. Make sure you don't have anything on Slez that you don't mind replacing. Oh, hey, I forgot to pick that up. I forgot to put it on anyone. Uh, oh well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I can actually put a green bread on her. <laughs> I'm not going to, though. I can buy all this stuff from the shop. So, that's fine. I cannot buy a Hero's Ring from a shop. Let's see... I have three hyper so I can give her one of those. And... I only have one sprint shoes, eh? Hmm. And I'll just remove the sandals. Then, I don't think... You shouldn't need to worry about removing her... This. Because that comes off automatically, I think. Maybe not. You know, I don't know. How close is she to leveling up? Uh, I can risk it. Uh, 
Okay, this this should be fine. Right? I mean, this should be fine, right? Yeah, this should be fine. Okay, in we go! Also. Wow, look at all those espers. Four. Six. Let's free them all. You wish to help us, but... We, we haven't, haven't long, long to live. live. We, we will, will follow Ifrit and, and Ra. Ra. Our, Our power, power we, we entrust, entrust to you. you. What are you doing over there? What are those? So, when an Esper dies, they leave behind the essence of their power, or they can at least. The power contained within these stones is far greater than what we could ever hope to extract. He just can tell by a glance, I guess. Hundreds of times greater! Interesting. Wow, way to sound like a creep, Sid. But no, I know you're alright. You're just in it for the science. At least, I assume. Nah, who am I kidding? You're clearly a good... You kind of look like a creep, though. <laughs> Professor Sid. General Celeste! Who are these shady characters? Your underlings? No, you see... Is it true you worked your way amongst those rebels as a spy? What? Um... What? Oh, I see! Magicite! Excellent work, Sid! General Celez, we need to keep up the charade any longer! Bring me those Magicite crystals! So, uh, are you an idiot? Of course not! Please, trust me! <laughs> the sweet taste of betrayal! Oh, Celez! That's so you! Please don't be idiots. Please don't be idiots. Please don't be idiots. Lock. Now! Kill them all! Well, that's unfortunate. Les, what are you doing? Stop! What did she do? It's it's really not clear. Hmm. Yeah, what assholes? I mean, you were doubting her and just wow, what assholes? Good question, Sid. I have no idea. <laughs> I wish I knew. Oh no! This is bad! That blast reversed 
the energy flowed in the capsules. We need to get out of here. Quick, over here. Okay, um, after I go into my abilities, because I got a whole lot new of new espers. I have Unicorn, Heal Status Effects, Madium, a Wave of Ang... What? Catapultus, which pe does petrification. I remember you. What an asshole. Phantom, which turns everyone invisible. That's a pretty good one. Carbuncle, which is Reflect, which is sort of good. Bismarck, which does something. And you just do a lot of white magic. You give magic on leveling up. And have all three level 2 spells. You have uh, HP and bio break and death. You have MP boost and useless status effects. You have a lot of really good spells. Like, really good ones. I'm gonna de definitely be spending time grinding with Carbuncle in the Velt, but not right now. And Bismarck is strength plus two! So, I'm gonna go ahead and slam that one on this guy. Because it's better than, it's strictly better than Ifrit in terms of yo. Plus also you get Blizzard and Thunder as part of the package, which is nice. And actually going to be really useful quite soon. Now, as for you, you were on Kate's Seath, but there was another one that had magic. Um, let's do that. And... I guess I'll keep you on Roma until you master that, then I'll switch you to probably this guy. Or maybe e free. In any case. In any case, let's run for our lives. This is gonna be a long episode. Oh, what have I done? There's no excuse for it, no matter how much Kefka may have threatened me. While well, you were in it for the science, like I said. Draining the life energy from espers just to make people strong! You've helped me become... come to a decision. I'm going to talk to you. Wow, that is a foolish uh, mindset. That right there is. <laughs> well, let's save. I guess this wasn't too long. On that note, since the save was right here, this seems like a good stop to leave off at. So, until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day. Thank you.